Uh, thank you everyone for coming to our uh, our purple WRT meeting. Uh, glad to have a have a good turnout as as always. Um, seemed like there's a lot of stuff going on this week in, in purple WRT, and I'm always uh, happy to add additional things as we go to talk about. So um, let's just get started. Um, introductions. I think everyone here's knows everyone, so we don't have to do that. Um, board farm status. I can give the update on my end, and then we can give the updates on anyone else who's using board farm right now. Um, few things is I uh, have the I almost have the AP. I'm gonna have to mute you art. I think. Art, you've been muted. I apologize. Um. There we go. Uh, I have the AP143 um, that is, uh, it's almost ready. The only reason it's not is the fact that um, one of our net, the one of the network cables I needed was bad and I'm getting it replaced. So minor thing. Um, we have, uh, we're running tests on, on uh, two boards right now with CC and DD. Um, we're adding, obviously adding more boards, um, have the request that Shalesh is trying to, uh, get some access to the, uh, to some of, uh, the Lantique now Intel boards. Um, Paul, just a quick question. Do you know if the CI 20 supports, uh, open WRT trunk? Uh, yeah, that it, um, it has a kind of semi-support as far as I'm aware. Okay. I think some, somebody was keen on getting it su supported on CI20 and there is a project ongoing, but I don't think it's fully there yet. Okay. All right. I actually do have a CI20 board um, that was sent to me very early on in purple. So if that support is even like mildly available and it like boots, we could probably, I could probably install it. And then, you know, if tests fail, we know yeah. if tests fail and... I would guess it would boot. I think there there's a known set of issues. Okay. Um, I can find the, the GitHub area and send it to you. Yeah, definitely. We would we would certainly want whatever the support is submitted to upstream, but like even if it's minimal support, that's better than nothing theoretically. Mm -hmm. If upstream accepts it, of course. We're not gonna mm -hmm. assume that. That's up to them. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, uh also um uh, another topic I talked to Matt and he and I are talking, uh, today, later today, there's, um, to kind of talk about things that he could work on. Um, I, he, uh, we might be able to fund some of his work. Um, I'm not sure how much, um, I haven't got to that point and we're not even sure what it would be, but, um, some of the, some work possibly related to, um, the more improving you know the remote access and uh and making that easier but we'll see um i'm talking to matt today um and hopefully he will be able to be involved um more yeah that's pretty cool hopefully yeah, he can help definitely he's he's also um he's going to set up uh that cabana instance he okay. offered to do that so um you know i gave him access and I don't know where he is on that. I just gave access to him yesterday. So, um, one thing he might be able to do as well is um, we have a lot of code commits to Board Farm that we have made, but we haven't just figured out how to upstream them to the version on GitHub just because there's some references in the Git history to just Qualcomm stuff that they don't yep. want us to. It's like <laughs> we have to deal with that in order to get some of these code commits up and improvements. Maybe he can do some of that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to talk to him and I'm not I have no idea on the budget. It literally it's more just what are sure. things we can work on and then and then I have to go figure out budget if it's, if it's available. <laughs> yeah. Um but it would it would be nice to have uh have more people working on it because I obviously can't work on it uh full time or even, you know, my entire job. I have obviously other responsibilities, but Right. Um, so yeah, things are going well. Uh, Zoltan had set up the um, the uh, the bot to record the the IRC channel. Um, still seems like there's a couple bugs in it, but um, I know he's he's working on that, and 
obviously with volunteers, it's we appreciate any help, and I'm sure he'll work out the bugs when he has time. So things are going good there. Um, anything else that anyone has related to Board Farm that they want to talk about? Not, not this week. I'm mean, well. Okay, we we got a um a reference set up as well with some random router that we decided to set up mm -hmm. uh, just to help us kind of identify when things are ci 40s fault and when they're not. <laughs> yes, um, that is, that's a thing. Yes, I know that one. <laughs> Interestingly, ci 40 did better than this router. So <laughs> it's not much help oh. at all. <laughs> well, um, interesting. Yeah. So, well, we'll keep it there anyway. Um, struggling a little bit with uh well you you may or may not know ci 40 is very close to mass production so we've been racing that out um and we know we know the tests that regularly pass on our device and i'm and i'm pushing to get all that stuff upstreamed i think they're actually working on it now awesome <clears throat> that's great that's very good so that's it really awesome yeah um yeah, anything else for Board Farm that anyone has? So, Eric, do you publish the uh, list of boards which you are having? Uh, um, I mean, you keep updating this list, uh, and is it public? It, it Well, there isn't a specific list. You can kind of figure it out if you go to jenkins.purplefoundation.org because it has the has the list of, of jobs that are running. Um, and then you can figure out the boards from there because they're in the name. Um, but it, that would be one thing that I think that that does probably need to need to be improved. Um, and it might be something that that map would be able to help with is how do we, uh, you know, make it more public as to what boards are going and make it clear. And that that's also going to going to be um, with the Cabana up that that'll probably help a little bit. But um, no, the the quick answer is is no. We don't have anything quite like that, but you can kind of figure it out if you want to. Um, so that's something we should we should put on there. I would agree. Yeah, I think uh, having such list will also encourage others also to add their board. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. So absolutely, I agree. You're right. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah. Definitely. Hi Eric, are you planning to add uh, test for lead? I don't uh, think there's a big difference to the OpenWRT test you are currently doing. Sure, we. I mean, if we can. I don't. I don't. If that's if the committee or the the group feels we should, I have no problem with that. Um. Sure. Okay. I know that on our end we're going to have to do that at some point. So maybe I'll <laughs> try to upstream that eventually yeah. when we have to do that. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a. I would assume it's probably going to work. It's it's. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of the same commands and everything. I can't think of anything that would not work right now. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think of anything. So yeah, I mean, I, I think we're open to that. Um, if we have the builds, um, currently we're we're running the builds ourselves, which is fine because we had some. Um, some of the boards you need to need to add some packages just to make it so it's in a situation it seemed like to get into a situation that was testable we had to add a package um so we have to so we often had to you know i had to run the build myself but as long as we can run a lead build yeah i don't see a problem it, i mean if it, i think you should i i would uh rec um encourage you to email the board farm list and see if anybody has any thoughts on that, but it seems like yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, awesome. definitely. Great, great. All right, uh, funding open WRT projects. I actually need to update that three projects to be funded. It's actually going to be two that were relate that um, the uh, one of them was proposed was Tox um, Chat, and they have asked to not uh, not have that project funded. They don't. They're not ready. Um, but we have the agreement from um, the uh, folks who are doing the scheduling internet access, and we're um, I got a um, got an email saying that the folks who are doing the scheduling Wi-Fi access 
project, they are going to send um, Nils. He's going to send the uh, agreement, uh, the signed agreement over in the, I think he said by Friday. So we'll get started there. Um, TR069, uh, I know that um, Felix and Luca either met this week or they were going to meet this week. I don't know what day it was. Um, and they were going to work out their final proposal that needs to be submitted to Purple. Um, and then obviously it would have to be approved um, by uh, by Art, um, David Lau, and uh, Kathy, um, as the board has uh, has directed. So um, and and that would certainly the the details of that that proposal would be available for the probably here and on the uh, um, certainly on the the TR zero sixty nine um, base camp. So yeah, that's a, I think that's about that it there. Uh, regulatory update, Art, I don't know if you want to talk about this in any detail. I mean, there isn't much of an update, but you, you did send an update to the people that were involved. Yeah, about the only news I have is that the FCC continues to talk with us and I will send everybody, or, or it's in that email, Eric, the link to their uh, docket where we can comment directly. Oh, okay. So, awesome. Um, if you'll just pull that link out and post it on Basecamp, then everybody can see where their docket is. Okay. And they still are, for some reason, discussing internally uh, whether to have a conference call with interested parties or, you know, just stick to their usual methodology. But anyway, I'm, I'm continuing to dialogue with them. Uh, who is involved in this uh, besides from Purple and the SEC? So far, it's mainly me talking to the um, key guy at FCC, but Eric has been involved, Kathy's been involved, uh, David Lau has been involved. And what I suggested was that I would host a conference call with a key member of the OpenWRT and lead community like Felix and Luca and Imre and perhaps one of the other experts in uh, the uh, FCC regulation stuff. So that was my offer. I, I proposed to them I would put together a conference call uh, with all of us, and I would also be willing to host a face-to-face -face meeting with them uh, and the key participants from OpenWRT if they were interested. So that's the proposal they're uh, thinking about now. But meanwhile, the, we're drawing to a deadline of that rule becoming effective. And so I would suggest that uh, if anybody has strong feelings, we make ourselves known directly into the commentary in their docket online. Okay. Yep. And I, I'll I'll send out the link to that docket. So. So that's the uh, regulatory update. Uh, Open WRT Summit. Um, we are still working on the RFP. I'm going. I that's something I need to work on today. Um, and um, um, Shandis uh, Bamanian is helping with uh, getting some of the um, the some of the logistics worked out right now, and she's also helping on getting the the OpenWRT Summit or, or the wiki page just updating it for this year. So um, when she's done with that, we'll certainly send it to the summit group. Uh, also, I organized a summit kind of update meeting so we can kind of finalize and talk about, you know, what are next steps before, you know, when the RFP gets sent. Um, and that will be, um, we'll send that, uh, or, or that meeting will be uh, next Wednesday um, at 9 a.m. Pacific time, I think. I'm not sure offhand, I forgot to write it down. Um, it, I, I've, I've sent the summit committee list so that if you're on that list, you're gonna, you're gonna get it. And certainly everyone else is welcome to join if they, they'd like to. Um, so we'll have to kind of, um, go through some of the last, the things that need to get done before we uh, get to the RFP, because that's going to have to be sent out probably, I would have to say by the 1st of August or so, um, give or take. Um, so yeah. We also uh, signed the agreement with Linux Foundation to uh, finalize the the summit site. So, 
just an update there. Any questions or anything that folks want to talk about related to Summit? All right. Um, last thing I ha had in here, just more of a more of an announcement. We do we did finalize the time for a carrier interest group meeting. Uh, their first meeting is going to be on August twenty third at nine a.m. Pacific time. Um, I think anyone here is certainly welcome to join, and many of the people here are probably actually on the list, so they're probably joining anyway. Um, just uh, just wanted to get that on, on people's radar. Um, anything else that anyone would like to talk about? All right. Well, um, with that, I think we can, we can call it a meeting then. All right. All See right. you. Thanks. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.